to our tutorial series on how to create a custom sound engine. Last video, uh, we showed you how to set up the project and get OSC scripts and how to create a client. Now we're going to show you how to call those scripts and send a message to SuperCollider from Unity. Let's get started. So now that we have all our OSC scripts in, we need to create an OSC call which will call an instance of the OSC handler. So what we're going to want to do is create a new uh, blank C sharp script and name it OSC call. So basically on start here, when it started, it's going to make a reference to the OSC handler and initialize it. So go ahead and take a minute, copy what we have here. All right. So we're going to have to attach this to something that's going to be there the entire game. And that's going to be the main camera. So in the main camera, uh, in the hierarchy window, go ahead and click on that. And we have to attach the OSC call and the OSC handler. To do that, uh, there are two ways. You can either click Add Component, go to Scripts, and then select OSC handler. Or you can drag it here like we did with the OSC call, just drag and drop from the scripts folder. Either way works. So now we have the OSC handler and OSC call attached to our main camera. Now we have to find out what we want to send audio for. What do we want to have happen? So go up and uh, hit play here, and we'll play the game and look through it and see what kind of audio we want to send. So the player moves, there's a pickup, there's an exit, we need uh, enemy hits. So really kind of anywhere where you think there would want to be a piece of audio. Uh, that's where we're going to have to find out where those are taking place. And that's where we're going to send messages from to Super Collider. So the sends are going to be in the player script, which is attached to the player. So in the project window, Go to Scripts and open up the player script. Once you have that open, we're going to need to find out where instances of sound are happening. So we have to find out where the player's moving, where the player is getting a pickup, and that's where we're going to do our sends. So here is move. Uh, anytime the player is attempted or is attempting a move, uh, these functions are going to happen. What we want to do is add in our own code here. So I'm going to go ahead and comment so we know what's happening later on when we come back to it. So we're going to comment out here and say uh, OSC send. And then we're going to do a float. And we're going to name our float. We're going to name it move. And we're going to set our float equal to 1.0f. And then we're going to go uh, OSC handler dot instance send message to client and then how we created a client in our first video uh, and that's super collider. So what we're actually passing is is move and what's important here is the slash move is basically a tag that we're sending to super collider and after that here, we'll go uh, move, and this is going to be the float that we just created. So later when we send a different message, the tag will be different. Uh, this is what we're going to be looking for in Super Collider itself, and this is what we'll be sending. So let's do another one. Let's do one for food. As you can see here, there's an area for a uh, on trigger enter, and you can see there's a tag exit, and we'll do that later. But let's concentrate on sending a food pickup. So comment out here again, OSC send, and then we'll do a float. And it's the exact same thing as before, just different names. Name this food pickup. Uh, make it equal to 1.0f. Then uh, we go OSC handler dot instance dot send message to clients we go 
quote, super collider, unquote, comma, tag it food, and we are sending the food pickup float that we just created. So it's really easy to just copy and paste these. So go ahead and copy, go down to the soda pickup, and do a little comment, and then uh, paste it. So then all we, all we have to do now is change the floats and what we're sending. So change the float to soda, go ahead and leave it equal to one, and change the float we're sending to soda. Then we have to change the tag that we're looking for in Super Collider to Soda. So you try and find the instances that you want to send audio from, and you put these messages there. Once you have these in, and you try and play the game, you're going to get error messages. And you're going to get error messages because Super Collider isn't open and we're trying to send something that isn't there yet. So we're trying to send from Unity to Super Collider and it's really sending nowhere. So that's why you're gonna get those error messages, but that's okay, we're gonna fix that in a bit. Before we go over to Super Collider, let's take the audio out of uh, Unity so we can replace it and hear it from Super Collider. So go to the prefabs folder, go to the completed prefabs folder in the project window, go to sound manager, in the inspector window, deselect the checkbox for audio source, uh, the one that has the music in it. And we're going to mute the other audio source, and that has uh, the sound effects. That's what the sound effects are playing from. Now we can go over to Super Collider and create our OSC defs and get our audio from there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.